Hello and welcome back to another video. We're gonna take a look at Katia 2D drawing. So I'm sure you encountered this problem. For example, you have over here an isometric view. And if I will select the text over here and I want to change the location, I'm gonna use the left click. And if I will grab that, I can move it around. But as you can see, this will snap to various elements. They are not visible now. But if I'm going to zoom in a little bit further, I'm going to see that the grid layout will appear in Katia. And as we can see, this will actually move that into some snapping points, as we can see over here. So we have this square over here, and that will maintain, let's say, the same, the same distance. So this is using um, an increment. Now, if you want to fine tune this, you just need to hold down the shift key while doing this. So I will hold down shift key. And now you see that I can move this a lot smoother over here. And as soon as I will leave the shift key unpressed, again, this will go back to snapping. So keep that in mind when you are arranging your 2D layouts. You can hold down the shift key. And depend on the amount of uh, zoom in on the drawing, you will see how that will work. For example, over here, let's see the, um, the paper size. For this one is set to A0, so it's not that uh, easy to see it. You need to be a little bit zoomed in. So if I will be like something uh, like this, so I can frame everything. If I will select the isometric view and I will move it around, I see that it moves quite good, so I don't see that uh, increment usage. But as soon as I will zoom in, I'm going to see that that will appear. So just hold down shift key and arrange it. OK, so let me know in the comment section if you find this, uh, this video useful. Also consider to give this video a like and a subscribe so that I will create more videos like this. So that's it. Thanks for watching.